Hey guys, do you have a ham bone hanging around? <laughs> Don't we all have ham bones hanging around? I do today, so I'm gonna make split pea soup with my ham bone, and I actually have some leftover ham, so I'm gonna use that later on. Chop up some carrots and celery and an onion. You don't really have to worry too much about how you chop these vegetables because the soup will be pureed. Add a tablespoon of olive oil or just enough to saute your vegetables. You know me, that's like three tablespoons. <laughs> I can't help myself. It's four medium carrots sliced, three celery, same thing sliced, and then the onion. Give it a stir. You want all the vegetables to get translucent. Just want to sweat out a little bit of the moisture in these vegetables and start developing the flavor before the liquid goes in. I really find that that makes a huge difference in all of my cooking, so I do it almost for everything. Then add some thyme. It's dry thyme. The recipe calls for a tablespoon. That seems like a lot. I'm gonna use one and a half teaspoons. This is a nice big recipe. There'll be plenty for you to freeze for eating later. This is one pound of green split peas. I just rinse them and drain them, that's it. Add your peas, it's that one pound of peas. The ham bone. This is one can of chicken broth. Five cups of water. So that one can is about 14 and a half ounces, so a total of six and a half cups of liquid. You can season it just a bit at the beginning with some salt and pepper. You can season again at the end, the ham bone probably has some salt on it, so it will also season as well as the chicken broth. So once this is simmering, it should take 30 to 45 minutes for the peas to get tender. So right around the time that your soup is getting ready to be done, you can make some croutons. So just cut the crusts off some bread. This is a whole wheat bread, any bread that you like. You can buy croutons. I don't recommend it. Then get them into a pan with a couple tablespoons of butter. And then you really just want to toast those till they get nice and golden brown. While these are getting golden, I'm going to puree my soup. So the soup should be done, peas nice and tender. Take the ham bone out at this point. It has done its job. Don't burn yourself. Blender or an immersion blender. I think the immersion blender is perfect for jobs like this. You don't have to worry about getting splattered with hot liquid. Done. Add your ham. This is a couple of cups of cubed ham. Soup is pretty hot. It'll probably heat through without putting it back on the stove. These guys, season them a little. Crouton's done. Soup is done. The only thing that you want to do is taste it, adjust for seasoning with salt and pepper and maybe a little lemon juice. So let me do that. Mm. Yeah, I think a little bit of lemon juice would be fantastic. So I'm going to add some and add, you know, one to two tablespoons. It's totally to your taste. Some salt and pepper. It's a big pot of soup. Alrighty, let's eat some of this soup, okay? If you make a ham and you have a ham bone hanging around and you don't feel like making split pea soup, put it in the freezer until you're ready to make soup. You do not want to throw away all of that flavor. Take it from me, be a ham bone hoarder. Top with some croutons. And there you have it. This is super easy, super delicious, super satisfying, and a great way to use up leftovers. Yum.